Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is surface area of pyramids and the last one we did surface area of prisms so it's pretty much the, the same thing except uh, we have just a little bit less of a surface area. So anyways, uh, this is 11.4 in our textbook and don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, so here's our common course strand for our teachers and our question here is of course, how can we find the surface area of a pyramid? Okay, so here we go. So Kerry is making a model of a square pyramid. And a square pyramid, okay, pyramids mean they go up into a point like this, okay? Like you guys have seen the pyramids in Egypt. And they all go up to a point, and it's a square pyramid because the base down here is a square. It's 12 inches by 12 inches right there, okay? So each triangular face, so there's four triangular faces going all the way around. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, has a height of 7 inches right there. What's the surface area of this whole square pyramid, okay? So what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to label the dimensions of the net of the pyramid. So so the net is if I, if I could take some scissors and cut it straight down that one and straight that one and that one. One and that one and then laid it all out on a, on the on a desk right there it would look something like that okay so this right here is 12 inches and then this height right here is this height right here is seven inches right there okay so there they are and so let's find uh, the area of the base uh, of each triangular face okay find the area of the base right here and each of these triangular faces right there okay so let's go ahead and slide that up all right so the formula for the area of a square is just side squared so we're going to go ahead and put uh, plug in 12 so 12 squared 12 squared is 144 so that's the area of the base right there okay so now we're going to write the whoops I, I clicked it to two of them so write the formula for the area of a triangle one half base times height okay so here's our triangle one half the base times the height so we're going to substitute in this 12 right here and 7 so 1 half 12 times 7 uh, so I'm going to take half of 12 as 6 6 times 7 is 42 so each of those triangles is 42 inches squared okay and since there's four of them uh, then we'll multiply 4 times the 42 and that's going to give us uh, 168 for all four faces okay and that would be called the lateral area the lateral area is the area of all the lateral faces okay and then the whole surface area would be including that base right there so so uh, let's add uh, the areas to find the total surface area so we're going to add uh, with the 144 for the base and then we'll add the 168 for the four um, uh, triangles going around and so when we add those together we get 312 inches squared. All right, let's answer the question. So the surface area of Carey's pyramid is going to be 312 inches squared right there. Okay, all right. So uh, why do we multiply the area of the triangular face by 4 when we found the surface area? Well, the pyramid had four lateral faces. Look, here's the first one, 1, and then 2, 3, Four. There were four triangles going around right there, so we multiplied one of them by four. We got the area to be 42 inches squared, so times four gave us the 168. Sometimes we need to find the total area of the lateral faces of the solid figure, but we don't need to include the area of the base or the bottom piece right there. So that's called the lateral area, and we'll uh, label that as L. Uh, capital S is surface area, where we include the base, but the lateral area, L, is when we don't include the base okay so um, it's just the sum of the areas of all the lateral faces so excluding the base okay so here Sander wishes to paint uh, this pyramid's sides okay the three sides have faces with a height of 10 feet right here um, and a base of six feet so this is six this is six so this is an equilateral triangle on the bottom right here okay but we don't need to include the bottom we just want to find the lateral area of those three faces right there okay so find the lateral area of the pyramid okay so here's a net uh, for the pyramid right here so just like before if I could cut it down that guy and down that guy and down that guy and fold it out so here's that base okay so by this is six this is six and so is this right here and then all of these heights are 10 10 10 well we don't need that bottom piece there 
So we just need the lateral area of the net. So we're going to uh, find the area of these shaded regions and not include that right there, okay? All right, so uh, we'll find the area of one of the lateral faces of the pyramid and we'll multiply it times three. So, so write the formula for the area of a triangle, one-half base times height. So we'll substitute in six is the base and ten is the height right there. So one-half six times ten. All right, so we can do half of six, and uh, which is three. Three times 10 is 30. Or we can multiply these and get um, 60 and take half of it. Or we can take half of 10, which is five. Five times six, you get 30 no matter what. I like doing half of six, because when you multiply by 10, you just uh, add the, the zero to it. So, so we're gonna get uh, 30 feet squared. Now that's just one of them, remember. So. So to find the lateral area, we find the area of all three of the lateral faces of the pyramid. So, so the lateral area is that capital L. It's going to be 3 times the 30, which is the 90 feet squared right there. Okay. So the area Sander will be painting is going to be 90 feet squared. All right, so explain the difference between finding the surface area and the lateral area of the three-dimensional figure. Well, the surface area included the area of all the faces of the figure, including the base. But the lateral area does not include the area of the bases. So, just, so if you had a prism, like in the last lesson, you would not include the top and bottom bases on that. That's what lateral area is. Surface area is including the bases. So explain how we could find the amount of paint needed if Sandra decided to include the base of the pyramid. Okay, so if she was going to include that and find the, the surface area. And so let's say the height of that triangular base is about 5. Okay, because they didn't give us this height right there. So be, before we can even find that area of this triangular base right here we would need the height of that so so if they tell us it's five then the area of a triangle is one half base times height so one half six times five is 15 and so we'd add that 15 to the 90 that we got for the lateral area so we get 105 feet squared all right you guys hope that makes sense and take care